So these are the assembly instructions for my picnic basket. This is the miniature version, but I'm going to be doing a much larger version today. So we're going to start with a little bit of basket weaving. First thing to do is to identify which of these strips go with which part of the basket. So the longest strips that we have are for the lid. We have eight in all and four of them for each lid. And then we have these end pieces. Again, we have four of them for each. The first thing I'm going to do is the basket weave feature on these angled pieces. And the strips that correspond with them have angles at the end and it's to correspond with the angles on the pieces. So I'm going to group my pieces. I have four pieces with four different lengths for both of them. I'm going to take my longest piece and I'm just going to thread it through over then I'm going to go under, then I'm going to go over, under, over, and then under that last part. And so I have little score lines here and here that tell me where to place my strip. And so I'm going to place it between those sets of score line, make sure it's nice and straight. And then I'm going to flip it over and I put a little bit of glue just on the back of the strip. And then just place the edges so they're pretty much flush with one another. And then I'm just making sure my piece is still between those score lines, and it is. Second longest piece, under, over, under, over, under. And then for the last one, I'm just going to leave it so we have two unders in a row, because it's the edge piece. I'm making sure, again, that it's right against those score lines. I'm flipping my piece over, putting a little bit of glue on the end, and then just making sure that everything is in place and it is and I'm going to take the next longest piece and it goes over under over under oh, flipping my piece over and then I have the shortest piece and again I'm going to do the opposite of what I did the last row and just weave it through glue on the end of that tab that I just put through there I started doing something thinking it would have more impact than it truly does and I'm going to continue with it because that's how I started. So I have this thin foam tape, I just took the backing off of it and I'm just sliding it underneath where those two pieces crisscross. So I'm just doing it on where the horizontal piece goes over the vertical one and I'm just pressing that in place, removing my parchment paper and it elevates it ever so slightly. I think it would probably have a greater effect if this was a thicker piece of foam tape, but this is the foam tape that I have, so that's what I'm using. Just put a dot of glue underneath and just stick it to itself that way. I'm just gonna continue inserting my foam tape at all the horizontal crosses, and I'm gonna repeat this exact same process for all four of my panels. So now we have the pieces that are for the lid. So those are the larger rectangles. And then we have the smaller ones, which are the ones for the end of the picnic box. We are going to do the exact same thing we did with the angled pieces. We're just going to weave these pieces through. Just want to make sure that you're alternating between the over and under pattern for each strip. You want to look for the marking on the base and tell you exactly where to place your piece. And then all the end pieces are going to go underneath and just go underneath and lift up the edge pieces, put glue underneath, and then you can insert a little glob of glue where there's a crisscross in the pattern. But since I'm doing it with the foam tape, I'm going to glue down one side and I'm flipping it around and making sure that everything is nice and straight. Now I'm just going to put my foam tape underneath all those horizontal slaps when they're on the top. I'm going to continue putting my foam tape underneath. When I'm done I'm just going to glue down the other side and I'm going to do that for all four panels. So I'm going to glue the basket pieces to their corresponding bases. So I've just put glue on the back of this piece and I'm gluing it right up against the edges of its base piece. So I'm going to do that with all four of these pieces and with both of the end pieces too. So next I'm gonna assemble half of the front and back and the side of my basket. 
I've just put glue all along that tab. The point of my piece is exactly at the top and the bottom score lines meet exactly. I'm going to do that for the other side as well. And so when you fold them back up, so this forms one half of my basket. I'm gonna put the other half together the exact same way. So next I'm gonna take the base of my picnic basket. Now this is Cricut Craft Board, so it's a little sturdier than cardstock. I'm just putting glue on that middle tab and straight right up against that score line. Then I'm gonna put glue on the tab on one of the walls. And then I'm just putting glue on the other tab. And now I'm just gonna do that with the other side with those three tabs. So now all being well, our side pieces join up just in the center of our basket. So then I have two pieces like this. So it has a score line that forms a tab at the top with little wings, a tab at the bottom and tab on both sides. And I'm just going to put glue all along the surface of one of them, flattening this one out temporarily. So you want them stacked up exactly on top of one another. You don't want any glue on any of those tabs. It's good to open them just to be sure. Now I'm just going in with my bone folder and I'm spreading all that glue nicely. So I'm going to put glue on the three sides. My tabs on each side are exactly over the join. The seam in the two tabs is over my two panels just like so and it's as far down as it will go. So I'm making sure that my base piece is glued down to the bottom of my picnic basket. So my join is right in the middle of my picnic basket. Now I have all the decorative pieces for the inside of my basket. I have this red check. I just printed this on eight and a half by 11 cardstock. I have two score lines at the top of most of the pieces. So I've just folded down on both of them and it gives a little bit of a ledge. I'm gonna start with the bottom of my box and I've just these two squares. They don't have score lines and they just, they're just gonna get adhered to the bottom of my box like so. I wanna glue this piece on the angle of my picnic basket. I'm just putting glue on the back. I'm just sliding it in. I'm sliding it right down to the bottom and then just spreading my glue. I'm using a bone folder. You can use a ruler or any object that has a nice clean flat edge. I'm going to do that with the two sides as well. I'm just going to put glue below the score lines all the way down and covering the entire surface. And I'm just slipping this in right down to the bottom. And then I'm going to do that with the panel that's across from it. Then I'm going to glue in the panels on the other half the exact same way. I'm going to put foam tape just along the sides here and then glue this down so it has a little bit of dimension to it. So I've placed my foam tape from the edge till about half an inch, a little bit more than half an inch from the other end. And I'm going to do that on both sides. I'm also going to put some foam tape on the end piece and I'm putting it from score line to score line. So I'm just going to take the backing off my foam tape, press it down, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the tabs that are on both sides and flatten them around the corner. I'm going to remove the backing on my foam tape on the one side and then just glue that down. Now I'm going to put foam tape on this side as well. I'm taking the backing off it and pressing down. So now I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other half of my basket. So next we have the pieces that are going to go on the top of our basket and there's a little notch on both pieces. You want to make sure that they're just stacked up one on top of the other like so. And I'm just going to glue this panel down. I still have these four tabs on that middle partition. I'm going to put glue on each set and then I'm going to glue them on the interior. I want some nice 90 degree angles and I'm going to do that on both sides. So next I have my two hinge pieces which are basically just two rectangles with a score line in the center. I fold it down on the center score line with the fold on my right hand side for this one. I'm just putting glue from the score line to the edge. It's right against the edge here and I'm going to do that with the other piece as well. This time the fold is going to go towards the left. This is the piece that's going on the right. I'm putting glue on half of it from the score line to the edge of the piece. The cut edges of both pieces are exactly stacked up on top of one another and that those little points at the end 
are just between the edges of my box. So you've got the notches for both panels at the top and at the bottom. So you're going to want to glue your panels onto those flaps. I'm just putting glue on one of these tabs and then I'm just positioning my piece so that it's centered on my picnic basket, like so. And then I'm going to lift the piece and just spread out all that glue. Then I'm putting glue on the other tab and positioning my second half of the lid the same way. All the other rectangles for this were pretty thin. These are the thick ones. So, the, so these are for the handle. And then we have the four, two longer ones and two shorter ones. I'm going to take the shorter one. I'm going to put glue on the back of it. I'm just going to slip it underneath the decorative layer. It's positioned between these two bottom pieces and move straight upwards. I'm doing the same thing with the other side. Now for the handle, I have my longest piece and then I have a piece of acetate. Now this is just to add a little bit of strength to my handle. I've got double-sided tape on both sides of my acetate and I'm just sort of working it between my thumb and my forefinger to kind of curve it. I'm taking the longer of the handle pieces, position it so it's more or less centered in my panel. I'm going to take off the second backing and I'm going to put glue all over my piece. My shorter piece is going to go on and I'm just going to position my handle so that it's in between those notches that you see on each side. Okay, so now I'm left with those two longer, thicker strips, putting one on each side of my basket like so. This probably would have been a better thing to put on before the handle went on. I've got the bottom piece that I'm going to adhere to the bottom of my box. So this piece fits just on the bottom like so. And I'm just going with my bone folder and from the inside I'm just sort of spreading that glue. Next thing I'm working on is these little decorative pieces for the side. From the center you want to fold inwards on the first score line and then between these two sets of holes there is another score line you want to fold so backwards on those and then there's another score line at the very end, little tiny thing and you want to fold downwards on that. And so you're going to do that from the other side as well. First score line, we're folding inwards like so. Second score line, folding it back, making sure that those holes are on top of one another. And then I'm folding down on that very last score line. So it should look like this. I've got some embroidery floss. You could use any kind of craft cording or thin twine. I'm cutting off about 12 inches. I have a needle. I'm leaving a long tail and I'm threading my needle through the top hole and then through the middle hole on the other side. And then I'm coming up through the bottom hole on the original side. I'm going to do that from the other side as well. I'm coming up in the top hole. I'm bringing it downwards in that middle hole. I'm bringing my needle through that bottom hole. A lot like lacing up a sneaker. So now I'm pulling on my little ends. So I'm just making a bow with the two ends to put glue on the back. So I'm putting it on both of those thin little tabs on both sides and all the way along the back. So I'm positioning this piece so that it's centered over that handle. I've got my edges are even with the flap. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And there we have it my picnic basket.